I'm the Disc Golf Guy and this is my video blog. I'm out here in Santa Cruz, California for the 2016 Masters Cup presented by DGA. I've got our tournament director, Braden Coolidge, and Braden, there's been a lot of really big, amazing ambassadors that have come before you in this tournament director role. How'd you get roped into it? Love of the game and uh, relationships with some of the people that came before me and seeing what sort of dedication they put into it. You feel like at some point you're just a consumer in this game if you don't step up to help out. So I step forward and it's a real honor to carry the tradition. Well, in an amazing fashion, you immediately went and took us right to the ball golf course. On okay. Sunday, everybody has talked about playing at De La, finishing on top of the world, but we're going to mix it up. We're going to the ball golf course. How did that come about? something that's actually been in motion for the last couple of years, uh, talking with the city, talking with the golf course, working on some of the logistics on how to marry the two without jeopardizing some of the DNA of the Masters Cup, which is, we're in our 31st year, so obviously, you know, things have been done a certain way here for a very long time, but uh, baby steps, and we found ourselves there this year, and so we went full tilt on it and made it happen. Well, this is, of course, a PDGA National Tour event. There's going to be spotters, helpers, volunteers. It was an amateur weekend two weeks ago, and we're just hanging out by the top of the world landing zone, making sure that we're staying safe. Uh, anyone you need to thank as we uh, head into the weekend. We want to thank, obviously, the, the disc golf operators, the City of Santa Cruz Parks and Rec for helping us make that transition. Our title sponsor, DGA, of course, every year out here. All the sponsors that are here in the parking lot and all the people coming up, spectators, join us this week. We should have a great PDGA National Tour, Santa Cruz style. There it is. Well, we're going to bring you action highlights from Friday and Saturday. And later on in the week, we're going to bring you shot-by-shot -shot coverage from Sunday's final round on the golf course, along with some extras. That's Braden Coolidge. I'm the Disc Golf Guy. We'll catch you guys later this week at the Masters Cup. caught up with our clubhouse leader in Steve Rico, AKA Little Spoon. <laughs> Steve, we talked before the round, you said you gotta be patient out there. You gotta stay out of trouble and you gotta be patient. Sounds like that worked pretty well for you today. What happened? Uh, yeah, you know, that was a game plan today. I went out there and um, executed some good shots, kind of stayed out of trouble, pick and choose my moments out there and, um, you know, got some good breaks, you know, and that's kind of what you gotta do out here. You gotta get some decent breaks and take advantage when you do. A 10 under par, bogey free. Mm -hmm. 
What's more exciting, the 10 birdies or the zero bogeys? The zero bogeys to me. <laughs> <laughs> that just proves what yeah. kind of challenge it is out here at De La. Did you have any highlights, Any uh, anything that sticks out for you this round? Um, besides the bogey free uh, round, I mean, I didn't do nothing spectacular. You know, I threw some, some good shots and I made pretty much everything inside the circle. So, you know, other than that, I didn't have no throw-ins or nothing like that, so. All right, well, you've won this event three times. Climo's won it four, McBeth's won it four. I think you want to enjoy the four-timer club. Is that the plan today? That would be nice. Yes. All right, that's Steve Rico, PDGA 4666, co-owner of Legacy Dis. Hope you enjoyed the action. This is the 2016 Masters Cup.